Do you enjoy a glass of red wine with dinner? How about a steak? Or maybe even a beer while watching the game perhaps? Many people believe that moderate alcohol consumption can be a part of a healthy lifestyle. However, I'm here to tell you why that is absolutely and utterly false. Alcohol has zero benefits and here's why. Let's start with the most obvious reason. Alcohol's negative impact on our health. One of the most well-known effects of excessive alcohol consumption is liver damage. Chronic drinking can lead to conditions like fatty liver, alcohol hepatitis, and even chirosis. Even moderate drinking strains our livers, as it has to work harder to process the toxins that are present in alcohol. I don't know if you're aware, but the petrol I use in my car contains the same ethanol that's present in the alcohol you're drinking. The same ethanol that is present in a variety of gasolines <laughs> that are used in motor vehicles. So it's no surprise that according to the World Health Organization, alcohol is a leading cause of liver disease worldwide, if not the leading cause of liver disease worldwide. While there has been some talk about alcohol, particularly red wine, being good for the heart, these claims are often extremely exaggerated. And even if there was a slight potential for benefits, these are far outweighed by the long list of risks. In fact, there are many recent notable studies that have come to the same conclusion that I'm raising right now, that alcohol has absolutely zero benefits. The facts are clear. Alcohol raises blood pressure. It can lead to cardiomyopathy, which is a disease of the heart muscle, and arrhythmias, which is when you have irregular heartbeats. Heavy drinking is also directly linked to heart disease, and even moderate drinking can increase your risk if you have other underlying health conditions. I recently published a video where I went in depth on the fact that 67% of all Australians are either overweight or obese. So there's your other underlying health problem. That's when you can cause real sustained damage. I'm not done. Alcohol consumption is also directly linked as a risk factor for several types of cancers. These include cancer of the liver, breast, esophageal, mouth, throat, and colon cancer, just to name a few. According to the National Cancer Institute, the more you drink, the higher your risk of developing these types of cancers, which of course is no bloody surprise. So therefore, alcohol in and of itself is a carcinogen, which I personally believe is the most damning consequence of consumption, because that means it can cause cancer by damaging the very DNA in our cells. This risk is present, by the way, even at low levels of alcohol consumption. Next, let's talk about how alcohol affects your mental health. While it might provide temporary relief from stress and anxiety, it ultimately exacerbates these conditions. Alcohol is a drug. Alcohol is a depressant. It is literally the opposite of caffeine, whereby caffeine makes your brain more alert. Depressants like alcohol slow down your brain's function. This then leads to increased feelings of sadness and anxiety over time. For example, studies have shown a direct correlation with regular alcohol consumption and higher rates of depression and anxiety disorders. But again, that doesn't come as a surprise. That's like saying caffeine is directly linked to the enlightenment period of history. The risk of alcohol dependency is yet another serious mental health issue. Any level of drinker can develop a reliance on alcohol to cope with stress or social situations. This dependency, more often than not, can quickly spiral into addiction just like the addiction of nicotine when it comes to smokers. Cycles of dependency then lead to feelings of helplessness and loneliness, while never truly solving the root cause of why those people who are addicted are stressed and anxious to begin with. I find the fact that alcohol being one of the most commonly abused substances worldwide, also being the most commonly accepted, 
despite all the negative side effects, which are very well documented by the way, surprising to say the least. There aren't many rules surrounding the consumption of alcohol if you really think about it, which isn't a positive thing in my opinion. Yeah, there's the age limit, but who's really enforcing that? The reason this should be of bigger concern is because it affects the neurotransmitters in our brains, much like caffeine, but instead it affects and impairs our brain's cognitive functions, like memory, attention, and decision making. Any amount of alcohol can slow down your reaction times and impair your motor skills. This is why driving under the influence is so dangerous and why alcohol is such a major factor in accidents and injuries, many of which are self-inflicted. Here's another example of how alcohol can directly impact our brain. Studies have shown that heavy drinking is associated with an increased risk of dementia and other neurodegenerative diseases. The damage that this alcohol causes in many cases is irreversible, leading to a very slow decline in our brain's function over time, our brain's cognitive functions. That's tough, that's another tough one, another tough pill to swallow about the reality of risk that is attached to alcohol abuse. Look, just one more point, how the hell are people justifying the insane prices of alcohol these days? I remember only going back just four to five years ago, the price of the same damn bottle has increased by a minimum of 40%. I've seen some instances of bottles I was purchasing in the past increase by 80%. That's if you wanna pre-drink. That's if you wanna buy your own bottle. Not even factoring in going out on a night out. Now let's factor in going out on a night out. Damn, venues, bars, clubs are charging upwards of 50 times the cost of a drink. That is expensive. Making the financial burden of drinking one of the dumbest financial decisions you can ever make in your life and on your personal finances. So while many people believe that alcohol can be a part of a healthy lifestyle outside of the celebratory aspect, where for example, you're at like a wedding or a momentous occasion, the evidence overwhelmingly shows that alcohol has absolutely zero benefits flat. So ladies and gentlemen, if you learned something from today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.